Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this fantasy piece. And we're working on a 12 by 14 black primed canvas again. I'm going to begin with this large round chalk brush. Now you can find these on Amazon or pretty much any art store. Um, people have got them from Walmart before. This is a three inch. So I'll go through some of the colors that we're gonna be using. I may add a few more along the way. We've got neon orange, lemon yellow, turquoise, sap green, phthalo blue, cobalt blue, magenta, neon pink, and titanium white. So I'm gonna start with the lightest part of the painting, which is gonna be uh, the background here, sky where our main source of light is coming from. So I'm going to start with some white and I'm just going to pull back and forth and begin blending around. I'm going to take a little bit of yellow now and a little bit of orange. A little bit more plus some more white, just pull all those colors. So by adding a little more or a little less white, you'll change the tone of your color. So we've got a little bit more stronger in here and a little bit lighter up here. So I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter around the side, just so you can see here. And now I'll start blending around soft circles. I'm going to add a little bit more white where I want it to be brighter. You can even pull gently across like this to create some subtle sun rays in the distance. And then we can paint over part of them with some trees and bushes and flowers. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of pink. And just gently pull just diagonal lines across the canvas like that. Take a little bit more. Okay, now I want to add some of my phthalo blue and it's mixing in with the colors that I have on my brush. So when I first pick up the, the blue, I'm gonna dab it in the corners here where I want it to be the darkest. And then as I work more of the paint out of my brush, it's gonna pick up more of the pink, and yellow and orange and white that I've got in there. I'm just gonna come around the side here and do this very softly. And the bottom. We've got a nice oval shape happening in here. It's already kind of feeling like I'm getting drawn into the center and wanting to know what's going on there. So I'm going to take my number 11 flat brush and get a little bit of water on it. And I'm gonna pull side to side, back and forth 
and possibly make this some water down here. Now with our sunrise that we've got there, maybe we've got them reflecting in the water, so I'm just gonna pull into this peachy pink color. And when you have a reflection in the water, it goes the opposite way. So let's say the sun rays fall right about here, then we're gonna have them pulling this way. Or you can just do this. Something like that. And then we can go over them a little bit later once our blue paint is dry. And then we can add more of the colors that we have up here. Okay, so I want to just softly pull some flicks down like that and then lightly across just to make it look a little bit more reflective. It's up to you what kind of water you want to have. I like mine to look reflective, so I like to have soft little ripples in the water. And I'm just going to try this again because it's, it's drying pretty fast. It's quite warm in my studio today. So I'm going to pick up those pinky colors again. Oh, we've still got a little bit of blue in there. See, it's just trial and error. I just know that I have to come back to it now. I feel like I want to use one of my mop brushes and start creating some foliage maybe around the side. So I'm going to use my large mop brush. Uh, it's not numbered, but it's a, sort of like a stipply mop blending brush. And I'm going to take some of my sap green and a little bit of phthalo blue. And I think I'll just start tapping from all the sides. Put a big bush right down here. And then right away, we'll pull and flick while it's still a little bit wet in the water. and then pull back the other way. Let's take a little bit more green this time. So as it gets this halfway point light and dark, we're going to lighten up our green. Maybe we'll have a little bit of green here in the water and paint some lily pads. We'll just do a few little patches like this for now. I'm going to load my brush up again and come from this side now. I have to switch over to my other hand. Have a few little bushes right in here. Let's pull down and flick. And then pull across. Get those reflections in there. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more. I'm going to switch over to a clean, dry mop brush uh, and I want to start adding some highlights, soft highlights. So I'm going to take a mixture of turquoise, yellow, and white. And 
let's start adding some. Starting on the inside here, and then we'll gently start to overlap a little bit on the side. Let's pull and flick for those reflections. And then pull across. You can bring them out here too if you want. This is going to dry a little bit darker, so I'm not too, too worried about letting in too much light here. I'm going to reload my brush. Let's pull down again. Reload. We'll have some trees back here too, wherever this leads. You know what, I think I want to add some drips, so I'm going to show you guys. I just take some water, quite a bit, and I'm going to push and pull right off on the edge of the canvas. And just let those drips fall, creating some tree trunks. I'm going to switch to a fan brush now. Get it a little bit wet and let's take some orange and a little bit of white and we'll start tapping in some trees in the distance. Very light and soft. Take some pink now. Maybe we've got a little pink tree right over here. Just wiggle around here a little bit. Softly sort of blend what's going on up here. And we'll just have some hanging moss or vines. I just like playing around with the paint when it's still wet like this. I think I'll take some of my phthalo blue again, add it right about here, mix some white in with it. And I'll start start creating some magic. A little bit more white. Maybe we've got a 
Your little waterfalls up here. We'll just line our brush up, pull. It doesn't have to make sense, does it? So I love to paint fantasy. We can just get lost in it and just enjoy ourselves. There's no rules. Got a few. Maybe even just coming down right here. Where else could we add some waterfalls? We could have something going on back here. Let's take a lot more white. And we'll just start tapping. Pulling back and forth and blending. I'll let some more drips fall down. And I think I'll start making some branches now. So I've got my long liner brush. And I'll take some magenta, some cobalt blue, a little bit of pink, just create a dark purple color. Some more water on my brush here. And we'll just start one that comes from the curls kind of down here. See how I'm wiggling? You want to wiggle and be a little bit shaky. You need a lot of water to help that paint flow out of the brush nicely. Let's have some on this side too. Twisting, making some of them a little bit thicker. It's more of the base of the tree. And then I always like to have a few that just kind of wiggle and curve over. I'm going to have some that hang down. I picked up a little bit of white somewhere here and then started this little tree from here and it got a little highlight on it. And that looks neat.
think I'm seeing a little, a little portal right there. So I think I'm going to, while this is still wet, take some of that off. And, well, the black showing underneath, but we need it to get some of that paint off. And then I'm going to come in with some white and some peach. And we'll just let that sit there for a bit and dry. And of course, it's going to dry darker than that. And I'm just going to do a few little taps around the side here. the edges up a little bit here. It's pretty wet in that area. I'm definitely going to have to come back to that. Alright, so what if just letting my imagination run wild. I've got, a, I've got some ideas coming to mind. Uh, and, but, but right back here, I want to take a little bit of my orange magenta and blue, make sort of a brown color here. Because it's this tree's a little bit lighter. It's farther away, so I'm not going to have the same intensity. I don't want this brown just to be as dark. Put a bit of water on my brush. Just add a few little branches like that. bit more yellow now. So I'm going to soften the yellow with some white and then right here make this brighter. Now the paint is still wet underneath so it's all going to sort of blend in together and it's nice when that happens because you want to have so many different tones. You want to get all that blending to create as many mid-tones and just different shades as you can. Then everything really flows together nicely. I'm going to add some here. I'm going to take a bit of water on my brush, turn my brush sideways, and start pulling and flicking for some little dangly bits of moss here. Soften that up a little bit. And then I always imagine there's some beautiful little grassy areas to have a little picnic or something by waterfalls. So I'm going to paint that where I'd like to be and what I'd like it to look like. There could even be a little bridge that goes over here. So we'll do a gentle little arc for a bridge and then we'll take darker color, any color that you want, and then just do a little line on the top and then a few little taps like that. So you can barely, barely even tell it's there, but I think it looks cool and it adds to the whimsy of this painting. 
Now I'm going to take some more of my pink, blue, cobalt blue, and green. And I'm going to see if I can tap in a little bit of shadow down here. Just a little bit here on the side. Just a little bit here at the base that needed it. And I'd like to create some um, water lilies. I want my water lilies to feel like they have a a little bit of a glow about them. So I'm going to take a bit of white, pink, any pastel color that you want. And I've just got one of my little mop brushes. And I think we said we were going to have them over here. So I'm just going to do a little tap wherever I want one. And I'll just do little tiny ones. So it looks like they're farther away. And then maybe one right here. I'm going to wipe the S excess paint off on a towel, so I'm left with a dry, clean brush here. And I'm going to really lightly soften, barely touching the canvas, light little circles. And I might have to bring some light back in here, depending on how much paint comes off and leaves the... So these ones work pretty well, but that one right there is exposing the darker canvas underneath. So I'll have to try that again. It can be a little bit tricky sometimes working on a dark canvas. A little bit more. Getting those brighter inside. Yeah, wiping the excess off. A soft glow around. Just light little circles. Okay. Now, I'm going to go over to My little filbert brush here, well, it's a medium size, number 12. And I'm going to take, I've got my dark green mixture right here, so I'm just going to slide my brush into it. And I kind of just go right in half there, halfway, and just do little scoops like this. And then smaller ones, closer together, you can just slide your brush back and forth. Just doing little ones like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take some white, turquoise, and yellow. And I'm going to go inside some of these.
back over to my liner brush. I'm going to take some pink and some orange and some white. I'm going to start pulling, pushing, pulling and flicking it for little petals. And then as I get farther away, you can just do little dabs. You can have some that are sticking out of the water like that, and they've got a stem that goes down. That looks pretty too. See if we can add a little bit more here now. There we go. We'll add a little bit of a pathway in here. Switch over to my other brush, pick up some peach. And slide my brush back and forth. And then I'll take some white and yellow, and I'll add, just dab some little, little bushes here on the side. I'm just going to blend out the bottom here, making it look like it kind of just is a bit blurry. Add a little bit more pink and white inside some of these. A little bit of yellow. Some of these drips are still a little bit wet here. So I've got my flat brush here again, and I'm going to take some white, a little bit of yellow, try and find a clean spot here. I want to have just a little bit of water on my brush. And if I go over top of any, any of these, that's okay. We can just make them look like they're more in the distance or we can go over them after. So I'm gonna start from right about here. And I'm gonna pull and flick. Okay, 
Okay, that looks pretty. Let's do that again. A little bit of water, white, and now we can also start from the bottom if we want. And we're going to have some that are going to be even a little bit brighter, so just mainly white. Come right in here. You can make some of them a little bit skinnier, so you have different widths. Some of them will be thicker. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the water, like I mentioned before. Okay, so we'll take a little bit of water, not that much light. Line it up, pull, pull, Now I want to take some orange and a little bit of pink with my white and add a little bit more color. And I'm going to take those same colors and just gently slide back and forth here for some ripples. Right down to the bottom. Now I'm going to pull in some of that yellow. I want to have a little bit more color in there. So I'm going to take some more of my orange and pink. And I'm going to be bold with some color. A little bit of water. I'm going to add more yellow around the edge there. Now my yellow is tinted a little bit here with some of that turquoise, making really beautiful chartreuse green. So I want to create a really nice green glow right around here. I'm 
just going to scumble, scumble over top of here. Sort of dry brushing at the same time. That will give us some lighter spots. So it's not looking completely black over here. That paint's starting to dry a little bit. And it's looking darker. Okay, so right in here, I'm thinking I want to add a little bit more blue and green. So I'm going to take my mop brush, and what I'm doing is I'm pushing down like this, so it's kind of, it's not going to be totally round. It's going to be a little bit more flat, but still has a nice shape to it. So we're going to put some tree here coming out in the foreground. Just by tapping and turning like that. Bit like that. Just tapping, turning my brush this way, and then dragging a little bit. edge here too, just for a little bit more shadow. Go to my liner brush. Get my brush a little bit wet. I've got a little drip there, but that's okay. It's disappearing. And just right down. And this part goes right down to the water. Yeah, I'm just brushing back and forth, straight up and down. To pick up a little bit of yellow with my green with some more water. This is going to give us that very gentle weeping willow look. You can even add a little one in here. And just wiggle a little bit of that light green. So this one with a bit of water. And then we'll just start going and down with it. Pick up a little bit of white. So we get that ref nice reflection here in the water going up and down. I'm going to add a little bit of that light yellow mixture on here as well. Okay, so I've got an idea of something I really want to do. First I'm going to add some 
magenta neon pink flowers. And I'm just gonna push and tap, push and tap, roll my brush up again. Nothing too fancy. And then I'm gonna be a little bit smaller when I come down here. We'll just do a few coming from the top like that. I'm gonna add a little bit more white to these ones. Again, a little bit more white. And I'll just have a few coming up from there. A little bit more of the magenta. Now I know it's kind of hard to see because this is casting a shadow. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put this back down again. it up there. There, I think that's easier to see now. I'm going to take my pink, magenta. That's pretty. Maybe I'll tie that in with some more little flowers down here. Getting a little impressionistic down here now. A little something like that and then maybe some green some yellow and turquoise so I take all three just want to pull in some green here because it's so complementary to that pink some purple with all the magenta Okay, so now a color that I want to use is next I'm going to use Burnt Sienna and I'm actually going to use some black. Okay, so I'm going to do something really bold now, but you guys know what it is because you've seen the thumbnail. And I really just keep see envisioning this, so I'm going to go with it. I'm going to take my filbert brush again here. There's a little loose hair on there. And I'm going to take burnt sienna first and then a little bit of black. It's right on the tip of my brush. And I think I'm going to go from here Right in here, I'm going to have a big old log coming over. So it really puts this in the foreground and makes everything else set back, doesn't it? That looks so cool. a few little branches and a little something coming down like this right into the water a little reflection I 
something there. So where it's darker over here, this is a dark area, I'm going to pick up more of my burnt sienna because that's going to pop, especially with all that green back there. And then if it doesn't show up quite enough, so I'll do it over here as well because it's pretty dark in this area. The burnt sienna is a really good color that you should definitely have in your collection of paint. I'm going to take a little bit of my white with my orange where I want to have a little bit more color showing up and in this area too. So I'm really applying the paint thick. I want to now take some of my sap green and my yellow. I get a bunch on the tip of my brush there. And I'm going to have a little bit like this underneath. And then going up top. And then coming down. up to you how much you want to add. Take a little bit more yellow. Get it carefully wherever I want to have that glossy look. You can just very lightly tap on there too for a bit of a texture. Now I've got some neon yellow and I really want to create a glow right on the outside so I'm going to use my neon yellow. Use my liner brush because I want to do this very carefully and I'm going to take neon yellow, get really close, probably will work a little bit better if I mix in a bit of titanium white. So I've just done that, I've got a little bit there. That way when it dries we're going to be left with a really pretty soft glow. I just washed my brush off because I picked up a little bit of that brown and I'm going to go underneath here
and see how that just gives it a really beautiful soft glow. Some of my parts here now. Just add a little bit of turquoise in here. I'm just going to do a little bit more to my waterfalls. So we'll get my little square flat brush wet and pick up more of my phthalo blue. And I'll just pull, making these stand out a little bit more. Oh, whoops. I have a whoops in every painting. And I leave it in the video so you guys can see. Pal, if you have an oops like this, <laughs> you can fix it easily. You gotta catch it right away. the look of lots of waterfalls. You don't have to have this many, of course. It's just something that I, I like. And then I'm just going to make this look a little bit blurry back here and soft. Well, maybe right here we'll have a little soft. I don't think I used any of my cobalt blue in this painting. Maybe before we finish this, I should add a little bit, and I think I know exactly where I want to. Find a little mop brush if I have one left. Okay, so I've got this little one here, and here's my cobalt blue. So first I'm going to add a layer of that, and then I'm going to take a little bit of my white, a little bit more blue, just add a little, little bushes here along the side. Soften. A little bit right in here. And then just a little bit of white. So 
So it's going to dry a little bit darker back there. Then I'm just going to take some of my blue, again, the same blue. I've got a few little branches. It's almost like a little tree in there. So I still want a little bit of color in here. And I think I'm going to, with this clean mop brush, try taking some of my neon yellow. And I'm going to scumble over. Giving us a little bit more of a glow. I want a little bit of orange too. So I'm just using the same colors for the background. But intensifying it just a little bit more. And then... Here, we'll add a little bit of our neon yellow as well. But I think that green, yeah, it's a little bit wet still, so it won't blend around too much. We'll do a few more. We'll douse her flowers up here. So let's take our neon pink, a little bit of magenta, and this time just tap with this little mop brush. Let's bring them right over here. Have some pretty flowers on either side. So for this to really stand out, we're gonna need to have a little bit of white. So I just took a little bit of white there. like that. Have some flowers down here. And I think I'm going to add, swirl together a little bit of neon pink and white. And add some more down here. Just a little bit of these off. I'm just using the corner of my flat brush now. And you can still use your liner brush, it's just that I wanted to wipe some of that off and it was easy to do with this brush. So we'll just have a few cascading flowers on the top, I think that looks quite pretty. And that ties this all together.
little hint of flowers in there, but it's a bit too much. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that off. And then finally, a little bit of our green for some leaves on here. Okay, I'm going to call this painting all done now. This was really fun to paint, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And I'll see you guys next time very soon in another video. Bye!